Hi, welcome back to Jason's How To's and Reviews. One thing that's often worried me is if there was some kind of power outage, we all are so dependent on our cell phones for getting weather updates and communicating, uh, what would we do? I've got some little power banks that would recharge my phone a couple of times, but it'd be nice to have something that's more long-term. And so I've tried several of these before without much success, but I'm gonna be showing you today this solar charger from Big Blue, which got really good reviews on Amazon, so I'm excited to see if it actually works. It has three separate USB ports, and you can see it folds up pretty compactly. Each of these ports is equal in terms of its voltage and amp amperage output, and it also comes with these four little carabiners, which correspond with these 18 month warranty card, which is nice. Um, some instructions here. But here are the solar panels themselves. So there are one, two, three, four different panels here. And then again, we've got more of these little things on the end. So inside of this, there is a little pocket and that's where each of these connectors is. So it's covered by a little covering there, which is smart, not get dirt and stuff in there. But there's three identical chargers there. You can see a little red light telling me it is getting some sunlight already. Um, and then it does also come with, so this is a USB-C. So I'm gonna go ahead and use mine for this demo, which is a turbo 25 watt USB-C cable. So I've got this cable plugged in here. This is my Galaxy S21. I'm right at 15%. Can't really see that, can you? There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and I can see right away that's telling me it is charging. Now one thing that's cool about this is it'll tell me, if we look right there, how long until a full charge so obviously it's not going to be as fast as with my turbo charging cable. So I mean, two hour and 53 minutes until full. Okay, it has been just shy of 45 minutes. And I moved this into the shade. But it is at 34%. Not sure if you can read that. Getting some weird glare. So really not too bad. It's definitely working. Okay, so here's my final word on this big blue 28 watt solar charger. I think this is just such a smart thing to have around um, and it actually works, which has been so huge for me. I've been so skeptical of something like this that would actually work. Um, it's a good size, seems like a really durable material, um, able to charge multiple devices at the same time very effectively. It does a good job and is able to charge my phone not quite as quickly as a wall plug, but pretty impressed with how quickly it's been able to charge, as well as things like Kindles and tablets and even a Chromebook that was able to charge with it. Uh, I was able to hook it up to a USB powered battery charger for AA and AAA batteries, which worked great as well. So I think this is just a really smart thing to have around. Um, if there was some kind of power outage, if other sources failed and you didn't have uh, a way to charge a phone or something like that. Just great to have. The one thing I wish that there was was an option as well to use this as a trickle charger for a car battery. Um, that's something that they might think about adding in the future. But I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe for more helpful videos as well as liking this video to help other people find it and leaving any questions or comments that you have below. Thanks for watching.